This is Chanel, I know, a long wear liquid lipsticks cousin or something, which what, I don't, what does that even mean? I don't know. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and movies for you today and I've got some good things sitting in front of me this week. Um, I was kind of repeating the same sort of looks with like a couple of different products, but then I was repeating like a couple of specific products that are like, oh my goodness, forever favorites that I am totally obsessed with that I cannot wait to share with you. So yeah, let's talk about as usual. So let's jump into it. So nothing on my nails this week, but for eyes, oh my goodness, I kept grabbing for one palette that is like, yes, I love it so much. Tell you about it in a second. First, I want to talk about this um, little shadow stick. I wore this with this palette, and I really like this a lot. This is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick, and I guess the color is shadow. That's what it says. It's like a, I don't know, like a taupey gray color. I'm wearing this as a base on my eyes today, just on my lid, and it's beautiful. I mean, it's just a gorgeous, like, slate gray color, and so not only is the color really pretty, but it blends out really nicely and it's really long wearing. Love it. I got this like, I think it was a 100 point perk, maybe. It was some kind of Sephora perk that I got it, but I love it. It's so good. So I don't know how much like the full size of these cost, but they're good. So I might want to check some more of them out. Okay, so the palette that I could not put down this week was the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Oh my goodness. I had put off getting this for forever. I just, I don't know why. I think I was just trying not to get it, you know, for no particular reason. I was like, I don't need another eyeshadow palette, but I kept hearing people talk about it and I'd heard nothing but good things. So I got it and I love it so much. I mean, it is beautiful. These shadows perform amazingly. I was like obsessed with wearing just a really smoky matte eye this week. That's really what I was going for. So on my lids today, I've got this color. I've got it blended out with this color. Um, I've got the tiniest bit of this warm shade and a little bit of this one. So that's what I love. Like this is such a great standalone palette, but also um, companion palette. I mean, this is like, I think everybody needs this palette because it stands alone as a great matte palette, so it's really good for more mature skin, more mature eyelids, because um, it just doesn't accentuate you know, creases or anything like that because it's matte. But also, I mean, it just, it's a great grounder palette to be able to pair with any kind of shimmery shadows you have. If you're a makeup artist, keep this in your collection, in your kit, to be able to like use on any client just as, you know, a, I don't know, laying down like, Blending colors, if you need a dark um, color for the outer corner, I mean, a matte brow bone highlight, you've got it all. I just cannot say enough good things about this palette. I love it so much. The shadows do kick up a lot of product, so that's maybe one negative, um, but I mean, I don't find that to be really a problem. There's a little bit of fallout, but not terrible. It's just, it's so pigmented. They blend like a dream. They wear really well. They look beautiful. Can you tell I love this palette? So let me know if you want me to do like either a review video or a tutorial using it. Um, let me know down below which you would prefer and I'll do one or the other based on kind of what people say. So I love it so much. I'm so glad that I got it because it's just, it's beautiful. It looks edgy and funky. Like the packaging is amazing but it's just awesome. It's like such a good palette. So good. On my cheeks this week, I pretty much just grabbed for one blush the whole week. I think I might've switched it up maybe one day, but I was pretty much wearing this one. This is Chanel, I know. Chanel's Powder Blush in Jersey. Fancy, it just looks fancy, it feels fancy. I got this from Ashley, she passed it on to me, and I was so excited because I've heard really good things about Jersey, and she talks about it and says she loves it, so, and it's Chanel. I mean, you guys know, I don't get Chanel, really. I I have two Chanel things that I've purchased myself. I have um, one lipstick, well, that actually, Timothy got me that, and then, um, like, a cream eyeshadow. I have New Moon. So, those are my two Chanel products, other than what Ashley has passed on to me. So, I... 
I'm so excited about this and I love it. I looked it up online just a couple days ago and it was still there. So I thought this was limited edition, but maybe it's either still available or they've made it permanent. I'm not really sure. I'm not up on my Chanel info, but anyway, it's beautiful. This is like a gorgeous go with everything. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And it like the texture of it is just so buttery and amazing. Jersey is just like a go with everything color. I mean, it's perfect with a smoky eye. So that's why I was wearing it almost every day this week because I couldn't stop with the smoky eyes with my shade and light palette. But this, this is like a, you would wear this with anything. It would go with anything. So I think, you know, if you're gonna invest in a Chanel product, this is a great one to have because it's beautiful. The formula is really, really nice. It just goes with everything. So you're gonna get a lot of use out of it. Very versatile um, and it wears really well. Like I'm impressed with the formula. So, and I just like feel like fancy and it just feels exciting to take out your Chanel blush and wear it for the day. So I don't know. I love it. So thank you, my friend. I love my blush. And we are already on to lips. So I am like blowing through these favorites this week. So first off, I wore Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick something something. Yeah, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. I got it in Mother. This is a really pretty, I, don't, I almost want to call it like a fall pink, which what I don't, what does that even mean? I don't know. But it's a pink, but it's got a lot of like, I don't know, depth to it or something. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but something about it feels very fall still. Like this would totally work any time of year, but it just is more of like a darker, um, berry pink. Is that what I would say? I don't know what I'm saying really to describe this, but it's just a really beautiful pink. I love the formula on it. It's really long wearing. It looks beautiful. I think it looks nice, nice with the smoky eye too, just because, I don't know, it's kind of like a girly but edgy sort of makeup look. I really like it. I love these. I like the packaging a lot too. I mean, her packaging and her whole line is amazing, but it just... I don't know. I like the light design on the top. I like that it's like a long skinny sort of a tube. It's cool. It's a really nice formula. Beautiful color. And then I love this. This is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Long Wear Lipstick in Melted Fig. So I got this in the um, Melted Kisses and Sweet Cheek set, which that's such a great set because you just, you get, to, I've talked about it a million times. You get to try so many different things in that little set. So this was one of the products and I've wanted this one for a while because I've heard good things about Melted Fig and for good reason because it's just a beautiful like plummy sort of a color. Oh my goodness. These are such a cool lip product. They really are. Like I love the packaging on them. That They're just kind of like something different but they're comfortable on the lips but they're really long wearing. Like I remember the very first one that I bought, I think it was Melted Fuchsia. It was a bright pink, like a fuchsia pink. So probably Melted Fuchsia. That'd be a good guess for a fuchsia color. <laughs> but I bought that one and I wore it and I was like really surprised with how long it wore because it just doesn't, it doesn't feel like it would be a long wear lipstick, but it is. And it says it is. It says long wear lipstick. So I should have known, but it really does perform and do what it says. So I love this formula, but this color is just like a beautiful, mauve plummy color. It is perfect for this time of year. And then one day I wore it with my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen, which I like worked forever to find this. I searched and searched and searched. This is like a fan favorite. So if you can find it in Ulta or wherever you buy your NYX products, your Soft Matte Lip Creams, if you see it in the rack, pick it up because it like, it goes quick. But Copenhagen is just a beautiful, like wine color, but it looks really pretty with Melted Fig. So what I did is I applied Melted Fig and then just kind of applied this around sort of the outside of my lips. So it kind of like made a little bit more dimension to my lips, but it didn't change it a ton. So I kind of swatched them here so you can see. So this is 
um, Copenhagen by itself. And then here you can see Fig, and I kind of put it along this side of it, so you can kind of see it just gives it a little bit of dimension. It's really a pretty combo, but this is gorgeous by itself. Um, and these are really nice too. They're like, I don't know, a long wear liquid lipsticks cousin or something where they're not as drying, they don't fully set, but they're still really long wearing. And they have a lot of really fun colors. Like they've got this one, they've got Prague, I think it's called, which is a really pretty berry color. They've got Transylvania, which is like a super, super dark vampy color. They have a lot of fun shades. So yeah, I just really, really love both of these lip products. And then what I've got on my lips right now is one of my all time favorite nudes. I've mentioned it before. This is Fergie Wet n Wild's Fergie Daily. And it's just a really beautiful nude. And it's a very nude nude. So I like pairing it with a lip liner because I bought this years ago and I was like, no, that does not work for me. <laughs> so I think I ended up returning it. And then um, Ashley had talked about it so much and a bunch of other people too. And I was like, maybe I need to give that another try. So I went back and got it again and I do really like it, but I always pair it with a lip liner because it looks very, very nude by itself. But today I'm wearing it with my Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Spice, which this is a beautiful lip liner. It pairs with so many different things. It's just a beautiful, like warm nude color. So it's perfect to pair with Furry Daily. It just, you know, I don't know. I like apply it on the outside and I kind of blend it in so it gives your lips some dimension but it also makes it a little bit less whoa nude lip <laughs> you know what I mean I just I don't know that really doesn't work by itself on me personally but with a lip liner it's amazing love it and the formula is really nice too it's very creamy and comfortable um not like ridiculously long wearing but for a cream lipstick I think it wears a good amount of time um, and it's just really comfortable, so, and really affordable too, like $4. So if you're looking for a good nude lipstick from the drugstore and a good nude-ish, brownish lip liner, I think these are two really good options. And again, no standout fooies this week. So I don't know, I keep kind of striking out as far as the fooies go, but I guess that's a good thing because it means I'm loving my makeup every week. But I thought about it and I couldn't think of any. So just all things that I was loving again this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Let me know down below too if you want me to do either a tutorial or um, a review on this. So let me know like what you would prefer um, and I can do that. Or if you want like a combo video. Maybe I could do a little mini review and a tutorial. So just let me know. What would you like to see regarding this palette? Because I want to do something because I love it. So anyway, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!